Recently, fake news has become a trending topic. But the reality is it's something that I've talked about for multiple years. And even though it's a trending topic, we're still not seeing the alternative media and the mainstream media calling out the real fake news as it has been promoted by Facebook. We're seeing innocent websites targeted. And what I can also report to you right now is that YouTube recently demonetized my recent video discussing the fake news epidemic. They've also demonetized other videos calling out PSYOPs, government informants, the whole situation in Burns, Oregon, where I called that a government PSYOPs. All those videos discussing Pete Santilli, the concept of a government setup, the concept of World War III, where Russia, for example, is not a good guy. Last thing I am is a uh, propagandist for Russia. Those particular button issues and topics have actually been demonetized by YouTube. So it's interesting to see them claim that they have a witch hunt for fake news, when in reality they're actually attacking videos and speakers that are actually really calling out the disinformation. I would say that on one level you have the United States, Israel, and Russia working together to create the fake news with regards to the intelligence community. And also um, direct your attention to the headquarters of RT America, which is not located in Russia. It may be directed from Russia, the Kremlin, but it's actually based in Washington, D.C. So notice how they're attacking websites that have actually reshared information from Russia today, which really is the talking points of the Kremlin, for better or for worse. I'm saying that's not a bad thing, so what? It's a matter of opinion, you know, and the reality is, do people have the freedom to have their own opinion? Or should they be allowed to have their own thoughts? And that's really what this comes down to, even if I disagree with some of their political beliefs. And so innocent websites that have shared RT or Sputnik News or other websites that have been identified to be Russian propaganda, anyone that makes videos mirroring those um, you know, particular talking points, those websites are being attacked at this time. They're being blacklisted. The next question is, what does it mean to be blacklisted? Is there actually going to be some demonetization of some of these uh, channels and websites that are being labeled Russian propaganda? After, in fact, we've seen Google AdSense reward some of these websites. And they're not all fake news websites. They're actually blending and blurring the lines between Russian propaganda and fake news. And we have the alternative media and the mainstream media having a media war. You're fake news. No, you're fake news. You're fake news. No, you're fake news. When in reality, actually do have an epidemic of fake news that has demonized Middle Eastern humans as subhuman. I've seen it on my Facebook page. Some of you surely have seen it as well. I've even had a number of trolls with broken English come upon my channel and say all types of crazy things. And I've seen them in other forms. It's like, where are some of these individuals coming from? So I think the very important points I'm trying to make is um, YouTube itself as a separate entity than from some of these other things that we're talking about. Facebook, for example, even though they're all big time websites, YouTube will punish videos and demonetize them if they're calling out some form of conspiracy or psyops that may be actually ongoing. And I've seen certain videos of mine get punished. And it's like the same types of themes are in the videos of mine that are demonetized. Second thing I want to mention again, hammer home the point that RT is in DC, meaning that they have entrapped the American people. You see, you have the Dish Network. You don't see the Washington Post going after the Dish Network. RT and, and CCTV, which is Chinese state, propaganda media, which is broadcast in English. I've talked about the rise of these foreign cable networks to um, play their own role in the media propaganda wars, where there really isn't a good guy, but there is the illusion of good cop, bad cop, where Putin plays a good cop. I've spoken against that. Regular viewers know that. But not everybody knows that. So they see CCTV, they see RT, and they gravitate to it because they're reporting on what the other networks will not. And they don't know that they're being subverted. That later on, RT uh, may be one of those... Um, Looks like we're low on battery power. Our team may be one of those networks here in the United States, if there's ever a major unrest event or war situation, saying that foreign forces are here to help. So what I'm saying is they've duped the American people into trusting their content for so many years. And in reality, it's been a setup. And now they're going off the websites that have shared RT's information. And the next step will be demonetizing websites that they consider to be enemy websites and perhaps more.
So this is going to be a short video, but it's an urgent video, and it's all the more reason why you should support.